the singer had released a song named The Last Ride as a tribute to American rapper Tupac Shakur, who was murdered by gangsters in September 1996, just two weeks prior to Sidhu Muswala's assassination at the hands of at least six shooters supported by gangsters working from jail in Canada. Like Tupac, Musawala had predicted that he would also pass away young in the song. Let's look into the death of popular Indian rapper, singer, and songwriter Sidhu Muswala. Sidhu Muswala, whose real name was Shubdeep Singh Sidhu, was a famous Indian rapper, performer, and lyricist. He mostly contributed to Punjabi language film and music. Many people consider him to be not only among the best Punjabi performers of all time, but also one of the greatest of his generation. Further, he was revered for his role in paving the way for Punjabi musicians to break into the mainstream. Shubdeep Singh Sidhu was born into a Jat Sikh family in the hamlet of Mausa, Mansa district, Punjab, India. Balkaur Singh was his father and Charan Kaur was his mother. A 2016 graduate of Guru Nanak Dev Engineering College, Ludhiana Muzwala specialized in electrical engineering. He held the rapper Tupac Shakur in high regard and acknowledged his influence on his life. When he was in the sixth grade, he started listening to hip hop and learning it under Harvinder Bitu, who was based in Ludhiana. Throughout the entirety of his campaign, the candidate claimed that he used the pseudonym Sidhu Muswala in order to pay homage to his birthplace, Musa. After receiving his diploma, Muswala went on to further his education at Brampton, which is located in Ontario, Canada. While he was there, he got his education at Humber College. In the hamlet of Musa, which is located in the Mansa district of Punjab in India, Shubdeep Singh Sidhu was born into a family of Jat Sikhs. His parents were Charan Kaur and Balkar Singh. He was named after his father. A 2016 graduate of Guru Nanak Dev Engineering College, Ludhiana, Muswala specialized in electrical engineering. He looked up to and was influenced by Tupac Shakur, a rapper. In sixth grade, he began listening to hip hop and studying it under Ludhiana's Harvinder Bitu. The candidate said throughout his campaign that he adopted the moniker Sidhu Muswala in honor of his hometown of Musa. Muswala graduated and then studied abroad in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. He attended Humber College while he was there. Muswala resided in his hometown of Musa, which his admirers frequently traveled to in order to meet him. Given the importance of hair in Sikhism, he kept his hair at his grandmother's request because he was very close to her. His father was unable to do so because of an accident. Due to their rivalry, Muzawala and Karan Aujla have responded to each author in songs, on social media, and during live performances. Both artists have received criticism for tracks that glorify violence. In an interview, their mutual colleague Eli Mangat revealed that the argument started when Ajla's management learned that Muswala had recorded a song and video criticizing the singer and threatened to attack him. Both began pursuing one another on social media after the incident. Prior to Ajla's La Fayaf, which Muswala reacted to with warning shots, the feud was temporarily put to rest. In an interview, Ajla said that the song La Fayaf was not his creation. He also said nothing about their competition although he did respect Muswala's work. Ajla dedicated her song, Ma, to him after his passing. On May 29, 2022, in the Jawaharki village of Mansa, Muswala was gunned down in his car by unknown gunmen. The Punjab police arrested Lawrence Bishnoi in June 2022 and labeled him the mastermind of the murder after his group took credit for the killing in an unconfirmed Facebook post, which Bishnoi himself denied creating. The police say that Muswala, his cousin Gurpreet Singh, and his neighbor Gurwinder Singh all left the residence at around 4.30 p.m. Muswala was on his way to visit his aunt in Barnala when he was stopped by the police. When the SUV finally made it to Jawaharki around 5.30, it was met by two additional automobiles. Two men were also hurt as a result of the 30 shots fired. Muswala retaliated with gunfire at his assailants. The assailants fled the site when the gunfight ended. Muswala was pronounced dead at the Mansa Municipal Hospital, where he had been taken by his father. The day prior, Muswala's protection was decreased from four to two commandos in anticipation of the anniversary of Operation Blue Star, which affected 424 persons in all. When the event occurred, 
Moosewalla was not in his bulletproof vehicle with the commandos but rather in his private automobile with two people. Friends say that Moosewalla did not bring his security detail because their Thar SUV was too small. The Bishnoi gang allegedly told the police that they killed Moosewalla in order to get revenge for the killing of an Akali leader named Vicky Midukera in the year 2021. The Bishnoi gang claimed that Moosewalla's assistant played a part in the murder of Midukera, despite the fact that there is no proof that can be used to support this claim in a court of law. Satinder Singh, also known by his alias Goldie Brar, a Canadian criminal of Punjabi descent, has claimed responsibility for the murder. Brar, who is Bishnoi's close acquaintance, stated that his Punjab module was the one who carried out the shooting. In India, there are pending legal proceedings against both Brar and Bishnoi for various offenses. After further investigation, the Punjab police determined that Bishnoi was really involved. The statement that Moosewala had been receiving death threats from gangsters for the purpose of extortion was confirmed by singer Mika Singh, who stated in the police report that Moosewala's father had revealed the information. The chief minister of Punjab, Bhagwant Man, issued a statement condemning the murder. He went on to describe Muswala as a cultural icon of Punjab before expressing sorrow and anguish over his passing and offering condolences to the bereaved family. Mann gave the order to look into the circumstances surrounding the Punjab police, lowering Muswala's level of protection two days earlier. In addition to this, he said that an investigation into the death will be carried out by a judicial panel that will be led by an active member of the Punjab and Haryana High Court. A great number of famous people have expressed their sympathy on various social media platforms. At the scene of the homicide, the police discovered bullet casings from a Russian assault rifle model AN-94 as well as a pistol. Six individuals believed to be involved in the incident and hailing from the state of Uttarakhand were taken into custody by the police. On May 30th, the Punjab police were able to apprehend one of the murder suspects who was concealing himself among the pilgrims who are visiting the Gurudwara Shri Hemkund Sahib. The Delhi branch of the INC held a demonstration on May 30 near the residence of AAP leader Arvind Kedriwal. They blamed the AAP-ruled government of Punjab for the event and held them accountable for the decision to reduce Muswala's level of security cover. The autopsy on him was performed by five different doctors and the whole thing was recorded on video. Muswala, sustained 19 bullet wounds, and as a direct result of those wounds, he passed it away within 15 minutes of being shot, as indicated by the post-mortem examinations. The cremation of Musawala will take place on May 31, 2022. The cremation of Musawala took place on May 31st in his ancestral village. On the land he farmed, his funeral rites were carried out. On June 3, Bishnoi was said to have admitted that he was engaged in the murder and that he had a feud with Muswala. Both of these statements were purportedly made. A bog ceremony was held on June 8th, and it was held in Mansa. Ankit Sirsa was taken into custody on July 3rd by the Delhi police on suspicion that he was one of the shooters who participated in the killing. On July 20th, gangsters Manpreet Manu and Jagrup Rupa, who were killed by the Punjab police because of their suspected involvement in the murder of Muswala, were shot to death. India TV announced on July 26 that Deepak Mundi, the lone fugitive shooter, had been apprehended by the Punjab police. On the other hand, it was reported in the Indian Express that he was taken into custody on September 11, close to the border between Bengal and Nepal. This is the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. You can also watch our other videos. You are definitely going to love them.